All right, YouTube, I'm back again. Sir Mike Jekyll here. And um, as I promised, I'd be drinking a beer this time around. I, I'm drinking out of my smiling pumpkin glass from the Heartland Brewery. But I am indeed drinking the uh, Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale. Very good. I'd say definitely one of my uh, top two favorite pumpkin ales, as well as Tommy Knocker. But unfortunately, I do not have that right now. Um, so last time around... I got about 30 viewers, so that's 10 more than last time. So, yes, I'm doing something right. And, uh, you know, speaking of doing something right, uh, one of my viewers, uh, Jen Dances with Wolves, said she likes my videos, but, uh, you know, that I need to be a little more jumpy. So, here we go. I'm going to be a little more jumpy for you right now. All right, you only get five jumping jacks though because I'm wearing something decent, so can't do too much exercising in decent clothes. And well, yes, I'm wearing my hipster outfit, and you know what? I'm taking these glasses off. I'm sick of this glare. I'm really sick of this glare, and I can use another sip of beer right about now. So, um, Saturday, which would be the uh, 29th of October, I will be attending the uh, Copper Mine third year anniversary party with my buddy JC Bouchard, the gigolo, and uh, my other boy Tony Fotino. Yes, I shouted you out because I know you watch these. And uh, also I want to give another shout out to one of my listeners, Jade, because, uh, you know, you, you always tell me I'm funny. So, oh, there you go. There's your shout out. Now, on to business, on to business. I told you I've been losing weight regardless of the beer, and I am now under 200 pounds. So I'm doing something right, beer and no beer. But um, all right, so I said I was going to have a funny story in this segment of my mini series, And uh, I figured I'd tell you the story of my first beer. So I was living in a town called Weehawken, and uh, the middle school I went to it was like two blocks away, and it was right after whatever Super Bowl it was back in 97. I can't remember. Or was it 98? No, it was it was 98, whatever that Super Bowl was. I think that was the Broncos and Falcons. Uh, a couple days later, me and a buddy went home for lunch, and uh, we noticed a couple, uh, I believe it was Miller's in the fridge. So... Yeah, I know, I know. I'm guilty of liking crappy beer back when I was younger. But, uh, you know, we both open a can. We both have some. After about a sip, he runs to the toilet in a bathroom and starts to Ralph. Like, it was just crazy. Like, he didn't even finish the sip, and he's just Ralphing all over the place. Meanwhile, I finished that beer and the next beer. And that was enough to do me in, but uh, luckily my ADD was so bad back in my school days that uh, they didn't really notice. So uh, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. It was a short one, but, you know, friggin' it's funny. At least it's funny to me. Maybe it's one of those you had to be there to uh, laugh at it. But, uh, you know, whatever. Um, so, all right, I guess I'll reveal what I've been doing what my secret beer project is um about a month ago maybe a little over a month ago me and my friend mark balls down in delaware what up mark balls anyway me and mark balls down in delaware while waiting for his girlfriend to get out of work before our adventure to dogfish head brewery that reminds me shameless plug we know i noticed he had a mr beer kit so, you know, we needed something to do to kill the time. So, we decided to brew both an Abbey Double and a pumpkin and a pumpkin cider. I believe the pumpkin cider is still fermenting for a little longer, but uh, right now the Abbey Double is there is going through its carbonation phase for about another week and a half, I think, and then we got to cool condition it for a little bit about a week or two so before you know it i'll have an abby double and i will be doing i will be doing some kind of review of it right here on youtube but it ain't just gonna be me sipping the beer being biased because it's mine no 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 it's gonna be pretty unique and pretty cool and uh for you beer lovers and beer tasters out there you might appreciate this one a lot 
So, um, yeah, you know, thought I'd let you know Sir Mike Jekyll finally started brewing beer. Woohoo! So, um, you know, I thought this video was going to take a lot longer, but uh, apparently it didn't. So, um, I guess I'll just do a few random thoughts and, uh, oh yeah, last time I was wearing my Red Bulls jersey saying that uh, if they won, they made it into the playoffs. Well, not only did they beat Philadelphia, but just last night they beat FC Dallas 2-0 to advance to the actual, actual playoffs. So they will be playing the LA Galaxy home and away. So, uh, you know, obviously go Red Bulls on that front. And uh, also in sports, random sports, the New Jersey Devils, my New Jersey Devils, have a 4-2-1 and one record, so they're already four wins better than they were last year at this point. <laughs> Wait, no, three three wins better than they were <laughs> last year at this point. And uh, my Jets go into the uh, – my New York Jets go into the bye week with a 4-3 and three record. A little disappointing, but considering we were 2-3, and three, you know, I'll go for it. I'll definitely go for it, especially since we beat Cri Philip Crimea Rivers and the Chargers. So, uh all right, um, my next video should be coming in about a week, maybe a week and a half. I'll probably review something. Um, hopefully by then I'll have my hands on the, uh, speaking of shameless plugs again, Dogfish Head decided to make a beer with the band Pearl Jam to celebrate their 20-year anniversary. So I know out in Delaware it's been released already. We're still waiting for it here in New Jersey. Um, Pearl Jam 20. Faithful Ale, it's called, and uh, it's supposed to be a Belgian style, so I will very much be looking forward to that. I'm going to be going for two bottles, one for drink slash review and the other one for keepsake because, well, I love Pearl Jam. They're one of my favorite bands ever, if not definitely my favorite band ever. Um, all right, I guess that about does it. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I'll do a couple more jumping jacks, actually, just because I, I, it's it's fun. There, you only got two that time. So, um, you know, happy Halloween. Stay safe. Drink, but do it responsibly. And uh, also to um, my Juggalo friends attending Hollow Wicked, be safe, have a good one. And if they do reveal that second face of the Mighty Death Pop, please re reveal it to me. Because I have my theory as to why suddenly there's a second face of it. I mean, I like the first one, despite what other people said. But, you know, whatever. All right. Take care, YouTube. Peace.